everyone. Thank you for joining me today. The Geek in Me wants to thank you for appreciating science. If you haven't had a chance to check out the previous videos in this series, the links would be somewhere on the screen and in the description box below. I'm going to try and add timestamps to all the videos in this series as they are pretty long and those will be available in the description box as well. Let's just jump into the current video. We have a last few ingredients left to discuss and then in the end I'm going to give you my final thoughts and opinions about this pill and the whole drama. So make sure to watch the video all the way to the end. Let's go! Okay, so horsetail is a way of getting silica and there's other supplements with silica. Honestly, this is too low a dose to even do anything. Silica and anything like horsetail requires higher water intake to work. Drinking more water has proven benefits for your skin, your hair, your nails, your overall health. So somebody could take this supplement and start drinking more water and a month later be in the best shape of their life and they'll thank the pill for it. No, that's just being better about your water intake and your hydration. This is once again filler and this is Scam Life Guru at her finest. What's up with the name calling Alex? I don't like this. Anyways, that is true that if you drink more water, your skin improves. Water aids the other additional beneficial supplements that you take do their job effectively because water helps in eliminating cellular waste from your body. You know, it helps your circulation and all that. But silica actually helps you repair your bones and collagen. And along with silica, horsetail is also rich in antioxidants and bioflavonoids and potassium. It helps improve your kidney and bladder health. It promotes healthy body weight. It eases heavy periods. It maintains good urinary tract health and all that. I found a few studies suggesting horsetail being useful in wound healing or increasing moisture or decreasing wrinkles, but those were all topical application studies. I did not find scientific documentation directly supporting intake of horsetail causing any improvement in your hair, skin, or nail. Taking horsetail also reduces the B1 concentrations in your body and horsetail is not recommended to be taken over prolonged periods of time. Given all that, I feel she should have not added this. I'm surprised there's an ingredient that Tati may not be able to pronounce in here. Asasantin. Big red flag to me. This can lower your blood pressure. If you are already taking medications to lower your blood pressure or you suffer from naturally lower blood pressure, I even trip over myself because of how furious this makes me. This is dangerous. The natural medicines comprehensive database shows no evidence for any benefits of asasanthin. That should really tell you how useless it is. I'm pretty sure Tati will be able to say asasanthin. It's not that difficult a word. Now, I don't have access to the Natural Medicine of Comprehensive database, but as per what I see here on their website, Asazanthin has effectiveness rating for 11 conditions. As I said, I don't have access to get any further details. If any of you do, I would highly appreciate if you can please send me the information. My contact information is in the description box below. I would really like to know what they have to say. At least as per the clinical and preclinical research I found, I don't think Asazanthin is useless as Alex has said. But that was not our focus, right? In terms of beauty, first of all, dietary astaxanthin has been shown to travel to the epidermis and has been shown to have preventive effect against UVA and UVB related skin aging. In preclinical as well as clinical studies, and in other clinical studies, it has been shown to impart significant improvement in crow's feet wrinkles, skin smoothness, skin hydration, and elasticity. In those studies, they were using 2 to 6 milligrams of astaxanthin per day over a 6-week period. Now to address Alex's fear that astaxanthin is going to cause adverse effects on one's blood pressure. In preclinical studies in rats, the rats who were getting very high sucrose diet were seeing increase in their systolic blood pressure. Astaxanthin, when given at pretty significantly high dosages, 100 milligrams per kilograms, was helping prevent this increase which was a result of high sucrose diet. For a petite 100 pound person, 100 milligrams per kilograms translates to 4,500 milligrams per day. There is 4 milligrams of astaxanthin in the Halo Beauty supplement. Unless you're a 100 pound person taking 11 servings or 22 of the Halo Beauty pills every day, you will not see any blood pressure lowering benefits as per this study. Also, the lower dose in the same study, 25 milligrams per kilograms, which would be 1,125 milligrams per day for a 100 pound person, the blood pressure lowering effect did not reach significance. 
Another preclinical animal study reported that 5 or 50 milligrams per kilogram, not per day, per kilogram of astaxanthin was able to reduce hypertension in spontaneously hypertensive rats, but it had no effect on normal rats. In a clinical trial, 5 milligrams of astaxanthin per day had no adverse effects on normal population. So this is clearly a case of medical research taken totally out of context and it really aggravates me and annoys me to see this. You know what? Moderate exercise has also been shown to reduce hypertension. So can we just extrapolate that and say walking is dangerous if you have low blood pressure? No, it doesn't work like that in medicine. Okay, so l glutathione alpha-lipoic acid, they're both great supplements. They're antioxidants. They're really powerful. They're used by so many people in the alternative medicine community because they have proven anecdotal effects. These dosages are way too low tricky because you need a really, really high quality version of it for it to work. Really cheap formulas, they really won't work. And there's no guarantee that this is the reduced formula that you actually need. And the dosage is not there. It's not enough for any benefit. L-glutathione is reduced glutathione. So I don't know what Alex is trying to say here. With the alpha lipoic acid, that's a great antioxidant. And you can get a three month supply at Walmart for $8. Once again, you're being overcharged. If you really need that much antioxidant power in your life, you're better off taking individual supplements because these catch all formulas typically don't have enough of the good stuff to do anything for you. So now l glutathione is present in every single cell of your body. It is a powerful antioxidant. It allows your body to actually reuse any oxidized vitamins E and C. C, which is big because those two vitamins do get oxidized really, really quickly and then they become unusable by your body. And the production of natural L-glutathione in our body starts to decrease after the age of 20. So given all that, L-glutathione is a good compound. However, research suggests that it is better if you take L-glutamine and L-cysteine as supplements and those two will go in your body and synthesize its own L-glutathione. A few recent studies have shown that oral supplementation of glutathione does increase the cellular glutathione levels so it does get absorbed when it is taken orally however increase in plasma vitamin e levels was only observed after sublingual glutathione supplementation for three weeks and given that the dosages in all these studies is significantly higher 250 milligrams being the lowest especially in the study where they showed any beauty related effects of glutathione i have to agree with alex i don't understand the purpose of this 10 milligram dose and the alpha lipoic acid is good for treating variety of ailments from improving your diabetic blood sugar levels to diabetic nerve pain to weight loss. In terms of beauty, topical applications of 5% alpha lipoic acid cream has been shown to reduce wrinkles and skin roughness. Preclinical studies do show that dietary alpha lipoic acid supplementation can prevent atopic dermatitis like symptoms, aid in absorption of dietary vitamin E, improve skin flap survival and reduce oxidative damage. For clinical reports, I could only find a few multi-compound studies where ALA was one of the compounds. These showed restored lipid levels in psoriasis patients after three months of supplementation. Derma Vitae or Derma White, an oral multi-compound supplement with 100 mg of alpha-lipoic acid taken twice daily for six months showed significant improvement in aging skin wrinkles. And a vitiligo study reported that patients who were taking a different multi-compound supplement with 50 mg of alpha-lipoic acid twice daily saw better results when taken in combination with phototherapy compared to phototherapy alone acid per day and only this one blog that i could find said that healthy people need only 25 to 30 milligrams per day but there was no reference provided so given all that i feel like there is not enough alpha lipoic acid in tati's pill and i would like to know their reasoning behind it and I think alex forgot to go over the pumpkin seed powder i wonder what he would have to say against it I'm just kidding. But briefly, it is a good source of beta cytosterol, just like soft hamido. I did not find too much research about the pumpkin seed powder helping hair, skin, or nails. Neither did I spend too much time searching for it. Do let me know if you want me to go in depth about it and I will do more research and post a separate video. But I did find some research on pumpkin seed oil and it has been shown to be helpful in androgenic alopecia treatment. And it has been shown to help wound healing in preclinical rat studies when used topically in general it is considered safe it might decrease how well your body gets rid of lithium and for that matter and because of lack of data in pregnancies and breastfeeding you are recommended to consult a doctor by webmd and that's all i have about pumpkin seed extract so after this 
Alex goes on to give you his conclusion, which is obviously he thinks the pill is dangerous. So in summary, this is a very poorly put together formula. Nothing here is special, it's out of the ordinary. When you're paying $40 for a supplement, you better be getting some sort of research and development or some sort of unique variant that may actually help your life be better. The potential dangers are way too big for me to ignore. The saw palmetto, the blood pressure effects, the blood sugar effects, that could be more of a risk than an actual benefit. And then there's a whole lot of filler. The doses on a lot of the good stuff are very trivial. This is snake oil. This is a scam. Hence the nickname Scam Life Guru. Okay, so here is a short version of my final thoughts on this pill. I feel that there is clinical evidence supporting the claims made for a lot of the ingredients in the Halo Beauty supplement. And I'm glad to see that the graphs that are presented on the Halo Beauty website are indeed from a small but still clinical study done on rice ceramides and not on in vitro studies as can be found on numerous other websites selling similar formulas. However, there are a few ingredients in here that I would have liked to see this supplement without as I told you guys along the way which are catalase, saw, palmetto and horsetail. However, I should clarify that these ingredients do not make this supplement dangerous or tarty any careless for putting them in here. It just makes it important that you need to consult your doctor before taking this supplement. There are a few ingredients that I think are in lower quantities than what I have found in research but that does not make them fillers because fillers have a very specific meaning when it comes to supplements and they are supposed to be inactive ingredients and the ones that are in smaller quantities are not inactive they are just in smaller quantities but overall I like that this pill has vitamin C, D3, B1, B2, B six biotin zinc copper manganese rosy powder msm amla grapeseed extract the rice ceramide and astaxanthin i do feel that hatish would have been more open regarding her ingredients and finally about the cost Tati is the creator of this supplement and it's her company she has the right to price it as she feels fit that does not make her a scammer or scam life guru as Alex kept on calling her in his video she is not taking money and not giving you the product or just taking money from your credit card or bank account without your permission she has created product that she thinks is great and as consumers we can decide whether it is the magic pill as she is saying and whether we want to spend our money on it or not. I hope that through these videos I have given you enough scientific evidence to make your own decisions and as I have always said these are my thoughts based on my findings based on the research I have done in the last month. If there is any additional information that you have any scientific proof that you have I would love to see it and I don't mind changing my opinions if any evidence proves me wrong. So I hope you guys found this video helpful if you did don't forget to give it a giant thumbs up and share with anybody who might be interested, scared about Toddy's new pill. All right. Thank you guys. Bye.